Well, hello there, fellow geeks and geekettes, and welcome to yet another recommendation video. Today I'm going to focus on movies and TV shows based on American Western comic books, or British comic books, Western comic books, shortly. Um, in the last couple of years there have been maybe too many new comic book films, and um, <laughs> every conceivable comic book has been made into a movie except for Lobo which I don't think should be made into um, a film in 2020 or 2021 because Lobo is a matter of the 90s and the humor and the atmosphere and the general uh, conception of the character uh, is very specifically uh, a matter of the past I'm afraid I'm afraid that today's modern, um, politically correct audience wouldn't be able to swallow Lobo as easily as they were in the past. Um, but, uh, once again, um, a lot of people have found themselves in self-isolation, which means that we've got a lot of time for watching and re-watching things, and uh, there are a lot of comic book fans that want to enjoy some, not only some paper or digital comic books, but films that uh, are based on their favorite comics. Or maybe some comics that they haven't, or some, some films that they haven't seen yet. Um, I'm going to share my top 10, my personal favorites. Of course, yours can be different, and in majority of cases, some of these films will differ as far as personal differences go, so that is why I'm asking you, if you're watching this video, um, and if you want to um, share your own favorites, type them down there in the comments down below. Right, so, uh, the first half is this. Um, I've already mentioned this in one of my previous videos, but I couldn't not mention this one, which is of course Batman the Animated Series. It's... Uh, one of the TV shows that I grew up on. It is my very favorite uh, incarnation of Batman, um, even even more than any other comic book incarnation. I love Grant Morrison's Batman. I love Frank Miller's Batman. I lo love uh, unconceivably um, Scott Snyder's and Greg Capullo's run on Batman. Um, but Batman the Animated Series will forever be in my heart because of the simple fact that I grew up on it and because of the simple fact that it is so amazingly done. Uh, not only uh, there is a nostalgic factor for me, but also um, the filmmaking and the animation and the scripts of the individual uh, episodes uh, were so, or are so amazing that uh, it 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 really has to be um, you know included in my top ten list. Now, of course, um, there were episodes that you know were less remarkable than the other ones, but in general, uh, I hold this uh, on the like as the top on the peak as far as um, you know visual audio visual representations of um, Western comic books. So Batman the Animated Series, definitely. And it is, by the way, um, the medium where one of my favorite female characters appeared for the first time, Harley Quinn. Right, so that's Batman the Animated Series. Um, speaking about Batman, let's mention the other one and get it over with. Um, and that is, I don't think that will come as a surprise. It's the 1989 Batman. Um, Batman the Animated Series was highly inspired by the um, visuals and the atmosphere of Tim Burton's Batman. And um, in fact, um, it, what it, all the Batman the Animated Series was from a huge part created because of the huge success of the, uh, you know, Tim Burton's Batman. Uh, that being said, this has nothing to do with the comics. Um, it's very different from any other incarnation or comic book paper incarnation of Batman. Tim Burton himself, I believe, but uh, 
don't quote me on that, I've only heard it somewhere. That Tim Burton once said that he, he never read any Batman comic books. Well, you can tell when you watch Batman from 1989. But that being said, uh, what needs to be um, <laughs> said that is, is that... Um, uh, Firstly, if if I if we don't count the um, uh, '60s Batman, the TV show, uh, it's the like like the first true movie representation of the character, and um, Tim Burton um, is very well known for his flicks that you know are of a very dark and bleak and gothic nature and this nature this atmosphere is very fitting for Batman so I think that um, and of course there is there is the the simple fact that yes aside from Batman the animated series Batman from 1989 was the Batman that I grew up on so yeah they 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 kind of go hand in hand you know Batman the animated series and the 1989 Batman I also love Batman Returns uh, but since uh, I cannot, since I've only decided to choose ten movies, I've only decided to choose like one uh, Batman from Tim Burton. So that's why I'm choosing 1989 uh, Batman. Right. Um, then we've got Dread with Carl Urban. I don't really like the one with Sylvester Stallone. Uh, not that I didn't, or not that I don't like Sylvester Stallone, but. It's just, well, you know, he, 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 firstly, he took off his helmet. Dread never takes off uh, his helmet. And secondly, you could see that they didn't really make uh, Dread or Judge Dread with Sylvester Stallone because of Judge Dread, but, but because of Sylvester Stallone. So you can see the star factor there. Um, they couldn't really even imagine uh, not showing Sylvester Stallone's face in the first film, and apart from that, it's a horrible f film. Sorry, I like like I love his films. I love Demolition Man. I love Rocky. I love Rambo. But Just Red with Sylvester Stallone was horrible. This, on the other hand, is fantastic. The atmosphere um, represents the comic book quite good. I think Carl Urban is fantastic as Just Red. He never takes off his helmet. Spoilers. And um, it's got good action. It's got uh, good atmosphere. It's got it, it's the the um, cinematography of this is very good. And um, the main antagonist, or the the antagonist, the main villain, um, portrayed by Lena Headey. Most of you will know her as uh, Cersei Lannister from the Game of Thrones. Uh, oh, she was awesome in that. Like she was a very very good very good um, antagonist. Judge Dredd. And he's one of my favorite comic book characters in addition to that. I have to mention Hellboy. Again, one of my top characters. I love the comics. I love Mike Mignola. Uh, I've been a Hellboy fan for, for like, well, almost my whole life. Um, and um, although I consider the newest Hellboy with, um, well, Hopper from Stranger Things, um, a bit more faithful to the comic book, uh, you know, made by Mike Mignola. Um, I love films by Guillermo del Toro. He is one of my favorite directors, and uh, he uh, was really brave to uh, cooperate and work with Mike Mignola to make this movie uh, when nobody wanted to, I think. Um, and um, it's just it's just a fun ride, you know. It's very different from the comics, but um, the atmosphere, the general atmosphere of the of the first film, I think, is much closer to the comic book than of the second one uh, called The Golden Army, I think. And in addition to this, um, Rasputin is portrayed by um, a Czech actor, and I'm Czech, so that's you know. I, I, he, his, his name is Karel, uh, Karel Roden. Um, and, you know, that, that isn't a, you know, necessarily a reason why I should love this movie, but it was quite nice to see a, a Czech actor in um, a huge blockbuster American film. 
so Hellboy uh, by Guillermo del Toro, the first one. And uh, the last pick of this part is, I'm sorry for the Czech writing on this, on this DVD, it is a Czech version of the DVD, is the TMNT film, uh, the first one, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie from the 90s, um, 1990, I think. Um, again, you know, it's firstly nostalgic factor for me. Secondly, I've always loved TMNT, um, and uh, since then, um, there hasn't been a better TMNT film than this one. I'm not talking about the 1990s TV show. That's also one of the tops. I'm thinking about mentioning it in the next part. But uh, Michael Bay's uh, Mutant uh, or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? <laughs> You're kidding? No. Um, no, really. This is the, for, for me as far as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The first one from 1990 is the top. Right. Um, so if you haven't seen any of these films, do check them out. Uh, they're worth your time, really. Uh, they will provide you with, uh, well, this for many hours, and these for like approximately, you know, two, two hours, one and a half hours uh, of a good comic book slash movie entertainment, uh, and you will not regret it. So uh, one more time, uh, the first part of my uh, comic book adaptation uh, recommendation video consists of Batman the Animated Series by Bruce Timm and Paul Dini, uh, Tim Burton's Batman from 1989, Dread with Carl Urban, Hellboy by Guillermo del Toro with Ron Perlman as Hellboy, and Selma Blair as um, Liz, yeah, Liz, and uh, the 1990s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Right, so that would be all from me, my friends. Now, please do share your own top 10 or top 5, since this is just the first part of comic book adaptations uh, as far as movies go or TV shows. Um, I would only be glad if you recommended some to me that I haven't seen or if you just shared your own uh, favorite, favorite comic book films. Right, so that would be all from me today. See you soon in another video, and bye.